week. Are you happy to be in God's presence? Amen. So in first service, we already started this conversation. How much is money? How much is money? I said in the first service that it's important that the subject of money is discussed in church. When you check, by the time we leave here from service, every activity from now down to the next Sunday is going to revolve around money. How you get money, how you spend money, what you do with money, and all of that. And most persons eventually will go to hell because of the way they were pursuing money, right? Yeah, because of their approach to money. Most situations we see in the world today is as a result of somebody's response or attitude to money. And that's why in the presence of God like this, we are taught so that we know how to go about it. We know exactly what to do. We get a biblical perspective, a training in righteousness as it has to do with finance. Almost everything will revolve around money. And if we are not taught by the word of God, we'll go about it like every other person. And then at the end of the day, we have results that we are not supposed to. Are you with me, church? Now, that's the reason why a service like this is so important, so that you can be properly taught and so that you can learn. And so we are talking about how much is money. And I said to you, first of all, when we started our discussion around money, I said the first thing you understand money about money is that there was never anything called money except because people were looking for a means for exchange, right? Before now, the history we had was that, the, that people were looking for a means to exchange. People wanted to have exchange for exchange. If I, if I needed yam and then I have plantain, I go to somebody that have yam that needs plantain. I give him my plantain so that I can have the person's yam. That's the trade by butter. The first form of exchange we saw. As time, as things progressed, people started looking for more universal way of trading. More universal way of of, of, of of exchange. They wanted something that can be measured. They wanted something that was more acceptable. And that was, the re that was how money came in. However, money have not ceased to be a means of exchange, correct? Till now. Even when it is something that is universal, it is something that can be measured, it is something that, is, that has value. However, it is still being used for the purpose of exchange. And so, every time you talk about money, value and exchange must come to somebody's mind. And so, I want to have this phone, I pay money, right? In exchange to have this. I want to have this uh, pulpit, I pay money in exchange to have it. So, there will always be that exchange for what I want. But, we are now talking about how much is this money itself? How much is money? If you want to buy a product, you walk into a shop and you say you want to buy this uh, phone, the next thing they say, which one do you want, right? When you say the next one you want, the next thing they will do, you, you ask them is how much is this phone what, right? And then they will tell you the price. And then you pay. Oh, they, it's costly. They tell you it's all right, you can buy this other one. Uh, however, this other one, if you're buying it, just know that you cannot use it to do live videos. They will start telling you the limitations of that one. So, anyone you are opting to buy, you are buying for what that one does, right? And then, the price you pay depends on the one you are buying. So, there are different products to buy. The one you are, you are going to buy will be based on how much you are you are to, to pay. So you walk in, you find out different phones, Samsung, Techno, uh, iPhone, and all of that. The one you decide to buy first is what is in your mind. Then the next thing is whether you can pay the price, right, to have the one you're looking for. Same way, 
Same way, we are now talking about how do I buy money? How much is money? How much is money? And to answer the question, it depends on the type of money you are looking for. Are you with me right now? How much money is what is dependent on the type of money you are looking for. Because we have money that is being used for different purposes. So the one you are going to buy and how much that one is cost is dependent on what you want to use money for. Are you with me right now? So in the first service, we were careful enough to, uh, to, to, to make a distinction and to, have, to come out with three classes of money. So we said, number one, I'd like you to note that there's money for survival. There's money for survival. There's money that what you use it for is for survival, to afford the basic needs of life. Are you with me right now? Basic things. That one is called survival. So in the shop where they sell money, let's create an imaginary shop where they sell money. You walk in and you find out that there's a money called money for survival. Are you with me right now? And then there's money that is for riches. Somebody say riches. Now, this money is not just for survival. This one now is that you have enough to be of help to people. Are you with me right now? At survival level, you have not helped yourself, let alone helping people. Are you with me right now? But at this level of riches, you have money enough right now to help people, to be a blessing to people, to distribute, to, to help people. This is another level of money. And then you enter this le last level, which is global wealth. Somebody say global wealth. Global wealth. At this point, you're talking about money, you're talking about relevance. Are you with me right now? You're not just talking about money right now. This money can buy anything. This money, you can use it to have global relevance. Are you with me right now? So we have now established that in this shop where they sell money, they sell money for survival, money for what? Riches, money for what? Global wealth and global relevance. Are you with me now? And then all of them are not bought at the same price. Shake your neighbor, ask your neighbor how much is money. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor it depends on the one you want to buy. Come on, look at your neighbor, ask your neighbor how much is money. Tell your neighbor it depends on the one you want to buy. Are you with me right now? So it's not the same price that you use to buy money for survival. That's not the same price you use for money for riches. That's not the same price you use for money for global relevance. And then I'll tell you the difference between these three. So when you come to a shop and ask them, I want to buy this, they will start telling you this, is, uh, this one is made by Samsung, this one is made by this, and they will start telling you what they do. Are you following what I'm saying now? They are not the same. They are not the same. There, there's an AC they call 70% uh, energy off. Uh -huh. That AC right now, you can use any form of generator to power it. There's another AC right now. If you buy it, your generator cannot carry. You need to buy a bigger AC, a bigger generator. So, the, and all of them are not the same price. You find out that this one they call 70% energy off. You may need to add extra 150,000 to buy it because of the extra value. Same way. It is not the same thing you pay for survival. It's not to, to have to obtain survival money. It's not the same thing you pay to obtain riches money. It's not the same thing you pay to obtain global money. Are you with me right now? All the ones you are buying is based on what you have to offer. So first, at this survival level, it's just about meeting needs. You're just struggling. You just have to make ends meet. You just have to meet. You just have to eat something. Even if it's not what you want to eat, but at least you're, you, must, you must satisfy your hunger. At least you must just, you know, pay rent. You can't sleep outside. You just have to do everything to survive. Most persons are at that level. Are you with me right now? And there was something to, that was paid for that level. Are you with me now? So at that level, how much you pay to have survival is hustle. Are you with me right now? If you pay hustle, you have survival. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, if you pay hustle, you have survival. Yeah. That's what you pay to have survival, hustle. 
Hustle. If you pay hustle, you have survivor. That's what you give in exchange for survivor. And then when you talk about hustle, I, 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 I did a, a little this thing on hustle and I discovered to hustle, to hustle means to push roughly. You can write it now. To push roughly. So in survival, we are not talking about skills here. We are talking about strength. Survival means to push roughly. To push roughly. It's a state of activity. A state of activity is a state of activity. That same dictionary said, a state of bruhaha. Bruhaha, you know. <laughs> yeah. And then you have something like to work rapidly or energetically. When you talk about hustle, to work rapidly or energetically. So in hustle, one thing you will not forget if you try to find out the, uh, 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 the, the, the defining this thing in hustle is that so much strength is involved. Are you with me right now? Yeah. That's one thing I needed to understand in hustle. Are you following me now? So if you just, if you're looking for survivor, at the realm of survival, all you just need is strength. Are you with me right now? At this level, you push without prescription. You push without instruction. In fact, at the level of hustle, nobody should tell you how to use your money. Just get money and use it. Like I said, everything about hustle, must, you must understand that in hustle, there is the use of roughly. Roughly. When you say something is rough, it means it doesn't have defined pattern. Are you with me right now? So at this level, there's no defined pattern. You can get money today and finish it today. That's the, the, this level. There's no defined pattern. There's no form of training. There's no form of instruction. Everything is just as it goes, normal. That is the level of hustle. And at that level, what you will get is the money for survivor. Are you with me right now? Money for survivor. So most persons are just there. You walk, of course you have strength. However, that strength doesn't have some level of prescription. When you look at Ecclesiastes chapter number 10, please put it up there. Ecclesiastes, he said, is, if the iron is what? Blunt. And he do not wear the edge. What happened? Then must he put what? More strength. More strength. So at this level now, when you get an ass that is not strong, that is not sharp, definitely that ass will still cut off something, right? But there are things he can't cut. Is everybody following me now? Why? Because it doesn't have what? It's not sharp. So you're putting in strength because you want to use it to cut something. And definitely it's going to cut some things, but there are things it can't cut. Why? Because it's not sharp. However, the question, is it an ass? Yes. But this is an ass that doesn't have sharpness. That, that is not sharpened. Are you with me right now? So all you need to do is just add more strength. The more strength you add, the more strength you add, before you know it, it can cut off something. Even if it doesn't cut off very, very well, it cannot cut neat, neatly, you will see the, this thing that shows you it's not sharp. But it is cutting something. That's it. That's where some people are. And that's not a good place to be. Look at your neighbor. Tell neighbor, don't be around survivor. Are you with me right now? At this level, you, you have giftings. However, your gifting is not subjected to any form of training. You are just... You're just uh, 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 crude. Let me use the word crude. You, you know there are people that have talents to build. There are people that don't need to go to building school to build. They were born with it. And at this level, they are building and they are making certain survivor at that level. However, they don't need some level of training. If you come to that man and start telling him you need to go and study building technology, the person will say, no, I was born with it. My grandfather did it. My great-grandfather did it. Me too, I'm doing it. Oh, Natarachi. 
Are you with me right now? And guess what they will use it to produce? Survival. They can never produce riches that can help them help people. If you can't help anybody, you are not rich. Don't, 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 don't allow anybody to deceive you. If you notice, I didn't even mention average. Because that average is an imaginary destiny. It's not existing. It's either you are in survivor or you are rich or you are there. If I get you angry, no problem. You know, when you, when, when you just say average, average, somebody say, wow, I, I think, oh yeah. That's where I am. That's where I am. Yeah, but it's, it's better. You just find out that it's either you are in survivor or you are in riches or you are in global wealth. That's all. Average, not existing. That place, they just coined it to so that some people will be comfortable. You know, there are people that when they fail, they, they still write something to make it look so wonderful. Fairly good, but he failed. Are you following what I'm saying now? Yeah. He kicked a bucket. You know, he just died. But that, that's a way to just make death look somehow good. He kicked a bucket. But he just died. Are you with me right now? Yeah. So, at this level of survival, you don't need any form of training. Just crude. That's why, do you know that even fighting is a skill? And people make money fighting. Who agrees with me? Does anybody agree with me? That people make money fighting? Yeah. There's a guy in your street that makes money fighting too. There are things that will happen. They'll just come and hire him. He'll say, boy, so yeah. And they will come, beat everybody. And before you know it, they pay them 20000 They stop by your mother's shop and drink. And they have money to eat. And the next thing they ask you, is there anybody you want us to beat again? Are you with me right now? What is happening at this level is that there's no form of training. So he's, he, he just has money to eat. Now, that same thing he's doing to eat, that's another person that is also doing it and is earning millions of dollars. Are you with me now? So, at this level, what happens is survivor. And the rule there is hustle. So, if your life is hustle, then you will stay in survivor. If your life is just, I mean, for me, it is anything goes. I make my money. I use it anyhow I want. I do anything I want to do and all of that. And I don't need any training. I don't need anybody to correct me. I don't need any instruction. I don't need any further decision. Everything is just here. Even if you win bet and you win 100 million US dollars and for somehow you are here, you will move straight to this place because this is a place for people like you. Are you following what I'm saying now? Because here there are no rules. Tell you about there are no rules. There are no regulations. No regulations. The people that are fighting in your street, do they have rules and regulation? No. No rules, no regulation. Just beat the guy. Beat and beat. They go and snatch ballot boxes. They pay them 300000 They share it. Some they even pay them to a point they will now buy a car. He has met a need. He has a car now. Right? Uh -huh. But he got it by fighting and snatching ballot, ballot boxes. And they say, next time, we go again. And next time, may not come again. Yeah? And before you know it, the guy is completely down. Everything around him revolves around hustle. At this point, there is still an ass, but the ass is not sharp. They're seen an ass, but what makes the ass work is more strength. Everything is strength here. There's no form of training. However, you enter another level where you now talk about, look at this, look at Ecclesiastes chapter number 10, give it to me in message translation. That Ecclesiastes chapter number 10, verse number 10. He said, remember what happened? The dollar, the ass, what happened? The harder, the work, what happened? Use your head, the more brains, what so the second stage of riches is where that very ass has been sharpened. This is the level called training. This is the level called learning. This is the level called mentorship. Are you with me right now? At this level right now, there is measurement. Are you with me now? At this level here, you are producing bonds. How did you produce it? I just, I just, I just read that if you get water and you get this thing, you turn it and turn it and turn it, you pour this thing, at the end of the day, you have bonds. You did it the first day, everybody ate it and they were so wonderful. You, every, they say, the next day, you still came again and do this. Thing. What was the quantity of water you put? You don't know. What was the quantity of this you put? You don't know. The next day, you have carried it. So they say, ah, we the one that brought the other one. This level, you don't pour water, you pour with measurement. This level, you don't pour sugar, you pour with measurement. You bring in some brains. 
Am I talking to somebody here? You bring in some brains. Now, this is where that builder or Natarachi builder has added building technology to him. I prophesy in the name of Jesus, you are living survival level. Are you with me right now? So at this level now, you've got some sense. At this level right now, you've got some wisdom. At this level now, you've got some training. It is no longer just strength. There is still some form of sharpening. I prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in this 2024, you will sharpen your ass. Look at your neighbor, tell neighbor, sharpen your ass. Who agrees with me that when you are walking, to go and sharpen your ass looks like a waste of time? Right? When you are walking, to go and sharpen your ass looks like a waste of time. That's why the Bible says that wisdom is too high for a fool. At this level, let me tell you, what the man that is rich is doing, most person at this point here laugh at it. I, 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 that's, that's going to be a, a waste of time. How, let me just be walking hard. How am I going to now go to use another 20 minutes to sharp this? But you will sharp that in another 20 minutes and that job will reduce by four hours. Are you following something right? The job will reduce by four hours. But this guy feels it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. That's why most persons can't receive some training. You ask them to pay some amount to have this. They say, no, this is how I'm going to pay. Hey, I'm not paying. The guy is, 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 he has started the supermarket because he has supermarket business. is going very well. He has started supermarket. He doesn't employ anybody. It's him and his wife that is running it. And finally, his wife's sister that joined the house now became also a sales gear. And the, the wife's sister will come like this. Customers have not come. What will I tell my ogre? Which customers have not come. He has waited and waited and waited. Customers are not. Until finally one now showed up and saw a particular goose that he sold for 200,000. The person said, can you sell it 100,000? He said, 100,000 is big money. I want to show my ogre that I can do. He said, bring it. He will sell it. 100,000. And at the end of the day, when you come to shop, he said, we have made some money. He said, how much do you make? He said, 100,000. And then he give you the money. You are so excited that you are making money. You will not ask because in this level, there is bookkeeping. Here, there is no bookkeeping. We talk about money. No bookkeeping. No regulation. No restrictions. Are you following what I'm saying now? You're trying to tell this person, why not involve machines in what you're doing so that when you come to this thing, it scans it. Every product that gets out of this shop must be scanned. At this point, if you want to buy something in this shop, even if I'm the one sending you as the CEO, you must pass through the counter. And if you get to the counter, you can't walk into Robin store and say, I just finished talking with our guy Robin store. He said, I should come and take some things and eat. And you walk in there, and after picking some things, you're walking out. They'll tell you, sir, no. Then you say, I, I, am, your, I am your girlfriend. Before your mother, his mother born him, I had discussion with the father. They will tell you, no, the machine does not allow that. So you are dealing with machine here. But that machine is too high for a fool. And that person considers that machine a waste. Which one is machine? And at the end of the day, he starts a big shot before you know it goes down. Why? Because it's at the level of hustle. In the name of Jesus, no member of this church will be at the level of hustle. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that your wisdom is scaled up. So look at this. He said, I have some brains. Look at this. Look at this. Put up that. He said, he, he said the dollar, the axe, the harder the work, use your head. The more brains, the less muscle. And guess what? In that less muscle, you even produce more. I prophesy it will be spoken concerning you that your ground brought richfully, plentifully. Can I hear you say a better amen? Are you with me right now? So here, there's some brain work. There's some paperwork. Are you with me right now? At this point, you don't just start building. Before you build, you, 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 you draw. And at the, you see the person that is drawing, he's watching it. My, my maternal grandfather was a builder. My maternal grandfather. How does he build? Just tell him what you want. Go and show him what you want. He will go and build it for you. I'm telling you, he will go and build it for you. Even at 80, he was still building. Mixing sand. I never saw him with paper. It doesn't require paper. That one does not require paper. Are you with me right now? It doesn't require paper. So at times, the reason we go to school is to add some brains to the hustle. 
to add some paperwork to the hustle. Are you with me right now? Yeah, so you can add some this thing to it. That's how people move from this very point to a place now where they have what it takes to help others. Are you with me right now? Uh -huh. And most persons don't ever get to this level. They don't. No restriction. Everything goes here. So, and you see that this fighter now, this guy that was fighting, the rising the street everywhere, and then they were paying him 20,000. They were paying him 100,000 to go and snatch it. Somebody comes to him and says, do you know what you have? That you have strength. Do you know you have strength? Have you heard about Anthony Joshua? Do you know you can fight for a living and make money out of it? Can I take you? And the next thing, they take the guy and now register him to where they train. They fight with training. Where you fight with a coach overseeing you. Where a punch is what money. Aya. Am I talking to somebody here? At this level, you have missed. Uh, we were checking the last uh, match Anthony Joshua did. He made 10 million US dollars. In fact, there was one that said 30, 32 point something million euros. How much is a million euro church? A million euro is somewhere around 1.8 billion now. It's a million euro, 1.8 billion. So 10, 10 million euros is 18 billion. 18 billion times 3 is what? Eh? 58 billion for fighting. So you see the guy in your street have been wasting energy. That thing he's doing can give him 58 billion. I say billion. That's how to say it. You must say billion with some power. What's the difference between him and this guy here? The difference is that this one, they took him and they brought him to training. They had to teach him skill. They have to tell him to sustain energy. They have to tell him about punching a target. They have to teach him some things. They have to tell him, once you hear Baham, stop. If you hear that Baham, Baham, it means you should separate. The one in your seat, do they separate? Ah, two fighting, two fighting, two fighting. He has removed you, he has dropped it. Two fighting. We will kill, we will kill ourselves here. Yeah. We will die. We will die. What is he working for? The money he will eat that day. But this other person is the same fighting he's doing. They are vidoring him. They are giving him endorsement deals. What happened? He took his hustle for training. Take your hustle for training. Did you hear what I said? Take your hustle to school. Go and have some training around it. Go and have some training. Because the more you are training, you are earning. The training is the money you pay to have. The type of money you can use to be of help to people. I prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will not stay around survivor. Look at your neighbor, tenable survival is not for me. Look at your neighbor, tenable survival is not for me. You are driving. Do you know people have drive people have, are driving and they are making millions? The person that is driving president will not, not, not only know how to drive, he will have some training around driving. You don't make calls when you are driving. Do you ob observe it? You don't observe it because you don't earn by driving. Somebody else wants to train by earn by driving, and you say answering call while driving. And you are carrying your bus, you are answering call. Half an hour, I go call you later. Why did you pick? If you will call him later, why not wait and call him later? Meanwhile, you didn't know who, who was looking for your services. And they say, okay, let him just drive somebody. And then you're just driving. And while you're driving, they say, uh, 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 don't enter service lane. You turn and say, which one is service lane? Because you did not learn driving. They just told you, what you just need is just, just quickly as you're driving. If they're honing, just be able to, no grief for anybody. Just be <laughs> that's, what, that's what your brother that taught you how to drive taught you. Just Shake your neighbor, tell your neighbor, add some training to that. Hear me? Anybody that is training is already earning. Do you know that one of the law, one of the one of the obligations every employee, every employer and holds, I mean, one of the obligations of an employer to an employee is training. 
In fact, if your employer is not exposing you to periodic trainings, according to the laws of Nigeria, labor laws of Nigeria, the person can be sued. Because your performance increases with training. So let me tell you this. I have to tell you this. Because I want you to move from survival at least. Are you with me right now? Yeah? Because the truth of the matter is that the journey from survival to global wealth, you must touch riches before you go to global wealth. You must. You can't jump it. You must. Are you with me right now? So first thing, if you fight training, if you fight correction, you may end up very poor. Did you hear what I said? If you fight correction, if you are somebody that when they correct you, you get angry, believe me, there's every likelihood that you will stay where you were. Because many people through training have been exposed to a better life. Are you with me right now? Yeah. So when I bring strength, I buy money. The money that is used for survival. When I add training to my strength, I buy money that makes for riches. Who is following this teaching now? Are you with me right now? Yeah. So anything you are doing, please look out for when they are doing training around it and train. Are you with me right now? Yeah, fashion and designing business is not carry tape. Measure somebody. Woo. Wow. You put a uh, pen. Where is it? You put pen here. <laughs> you know some people that you measure again, you put pen. They say the next time you are your phone, your cloth is ready. And you may amend the same cloth three times. Power. <laughs> you amend the same cloth three times. What are you doing? I do fashion and designing for a living. No, you are still at the hustle. You can say I do fashion and design and feel awesome. Yeah, because really, if you're ready for fashion and designing business, you must go for training. You must learn about the marketing around fashion and designing. You must learn integrity. You must learn how to handle customers. They will teach you how to handle difficult customers. Some customers are difficult. You can't, you, can't, you can't treat them the way your mother. My mother told me in this life, if you give me two, I give you five. You can't come to my shop and talk to me anyhow. You are not feeding me. And you just lost a customer. Over one million. And not only have you lost him, you have lost other people you would have recommended. Mm, what, what is there? That is me now. That's the way I grew up. That was what your mother taught you. That was what your mother taught you. Meanwhile, your mother never made any money doing fashion designing. Why not go and learn from people that made millions doing fashion and designing? God is granting somebody wisdom. I prophesy in the name of Jesus, your life is getting better. Oh, why shouldn't we teach this in church? God doesn't want you to be the tail. He wants you to be the head. You shall be the head and not the tail. And how do you get to be the head? Find out the heads around there and learn from them. Church, are you with me right now? Yeah. Pay for trainings. There are some people, once they are hearing about training, they are hearing this, they are, they, are, they are getting excited, everything, everything. And the next thing they say, for you to gain entrance, you will pay 50,000. Yeah. Yeah. I told you I bought a book on money. I bought that book on, is it 19,000 or 30, something thousand. And then I, I read it. I was so excited. I called the man. I said, I'd like to have another of the book. And he told me about, about that particular book. I told him I'd like to have it. He said that one is 1,000 US dollars. 1,000 US dollars. Then dollar was around 800 and something thousand. Almost one, one, one million then. I was pricing him $400. He refused. I mm gave -hmm. you $400. Go up. You see, his problem here is about survival. Are you with me right now? That's why he's where he is. And this man here, this man here, there's nothing he likes to hear that somebody is his problem. I don't want to talk about him. I get some anger. Like this man here, <laughs> he believes his shop is going down because somebody is cooking in the village for him. Are 
a woman did uh, this uh, daily contribution business in, in Lagos. And eventually, people were looking for their money. She has finished eating it. And she told them that somebody used a, a goboni to give to her. She noticed that every day after business, 100,000 misses, 100,000 misses. You did not talk until the day they went to share money. <laughs> Are you with me now? Because somebody just explained to him the business. So the business, I'm just now going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to my own commission. That's all he, he learned. He did not hear such money, you don't spend it. You don't invest it. Keep it just somewhere for them. Build integrity first. Are you with me right now? But everything about training annoys this guy. Everything about instruction annoys this guy. Don't tell him about Titan. He shouldn't hear it. Only the hearing first. And once he has eaten, life is good. Are you with me right now? Everything is... Just, no, don't talk about training. These online classes, register for WhatsApp class, where no, you're not talking about him. Uh, there's a, you're not talking about him. As long as he has made money to pay his house rent, God is good. But God wanted you to do more. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I dare declare over your life, you will do much more better. I declare in the name of Jesus, you will not be found around survivor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you know that football that you see, somebody like Kelechi Hanach, I heard they pay him, is it $80,000 every week? $80,000 every week is how much? That's over 100 million naira on a weekly basis. How much is Osimen paid weekly? Eh? Huh? Somewhere around 180,000 euros every week. Do you know that there are people as talented as them who are in the street playing? They play from street to street. Street hire them. Your street is, 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 is clashing with one day. As an no, no, it's playing against one day. You invite them, pay them 10,000. They come there and play more than those men, and they earn 10,000. Put them in a club and the coach will start. If the coach bench them, they will be there telling coach, you bench me. You bench me. I'm going out. He wants to go back to the Okanon where they celebrate him in mediocrity. Than a, ben, a, 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 a coach that will bench him to be better. He hates instruction. He hates training. Everything about training irritates the guy that is looking for survival. As long as he can eat and pay his house rent, it's okay. But that shouldn't be okay for us. You're supposed to be the head and not the tail. The creatures are waiting for the manifestations of the sons of... Somebody can transit from here to this. You just pay the price. If you come to a shop and pay for what you want, nobody asks you who is your father, who you are. As long as you have the money, you pay the price, what happens? You take the product. Same way, if you pay the price for riches, you get riches. If you pay the price for global wealth, you get it. I prophesy in the name of Jesus, you are working away from ignorance look at your neighbor tell your neighbor you will not find me in survivor tell your neighbor you will not find me in survivor do you know when God was telling us bring 10% of your money <coughs> you don't give such counsel to somebody that's looking for survivor survivor doesn't talk about percentage he can finish money now ask him how much he got he doesn't know he reach here Mm, to, ask to, no, tomorrow will think for itself. Are you with me right now? That's survivor. But at this level of riches, training is involved. Are you with me right now? Training is, in, is involved. That's why you have people who, who are very hardworking. I told you, some of these players, some of them right now, the reason you see them where they are is because they accepted discipline. There are some people that could play very, very well, that their problem is that nobody talks to them. And they went into a good team. A good coach came to them and they see this play the same thing. Nobody talks to me. Go and ask them in my house. When went Abraham and Ba. And I went, and I and I am again. <laughs> you know, the type of arrogance. Who are you? No. You don't talk to me anyhow. Somebody my age. You are, you are still far. 
If you're not ready for mentorship, you won't grow. There are certain level you will just be. Yeah. The Bible says add some brains to it. Add some sense to it. So that's how somebody moves. I need to ask you right now, where is your business? And are you ready to translate your business from survival to riches? Because you need to translate it. I'm telling you. There, there, there's a curriculum. You can meet me privately. I can even teach you better. There's a curriculum that makes a business stay at survival level. There's a curriculum that makes a business get to a point where the business is big enough that you can help people. Are you with me right now? Yeah. That's that. That's that. So, this place, what are it? This place, survival. This place, riches. That place, survival. But the, 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 the effect of here, one of the things you notice around, around here is learning. Somebody is eager to learn. Somebody is eager to be rebuked. Somebody is telling you, scold me, so let me not repeat it. And that person says, scold me, I'll get out. They don't scold me that way. That's why they are where they are. Are you following what I'm saying? And that person is telling you, scold me, tell me what to do. I mean, the person will even tell, just submit himself naturally and say, deal with me. Deal with me. Anything you know I can do to do better, do it. A guy was sharing his story with me. He entered into the university. At, is it to study architecture? One of those uh, uh, medical courses. And is he an engineer also? And then when he entered, very brilliant. But by the time he entered, he started mixing with friends and all of that at UNN <laughs> and everything. And that was it. His results start dropping from that until finally he didn't have a result. In fact, the hostel he was staying, the hostel, the, norm, the normal people, they are all the people that came to school, that have settled in school. Did you hear what I just said? Now? I said they came to school, they have settled in school. Some of them have even married without bride price. They have open business. Now, it was just normal. Normal. And so that was how he was in school. And he said the first time the father saw his result, the father scolded him and everything. He felt so bad and kept everything to himself. So things were degenerating until when he was getting to final year, he didn't have a result. The, the damage has been done so bad that there was nothing he could do. And so he started staying around school. He dropped out of school and started finding a photocopy machine to be doing some business around school. And was busy, you know, living wayward life in school. His relationship is with, with his father was severed. He said that happened until he eventually decided to join a church on campus at UNN and Soka. He said <laughs> when he joined the church, the first thing he noticed was that the pastor saw him and saw great potentials in him. You know, in, in Christianity, if you really want to behave the way Jesus said it should be, you don't see people the way everybody is seeing them. You see them based on what they can be. The pastor saw him and saw something in him. And that was how the, the pastor now started talking with him. That was how he discovered that the guy, as, as in everything, was messed up. The, fact the pastor started teaching him some things in church, started giving him an opportunity to lead opening prayers and all of that. Started teaching him. The pastor and the wife came together to mentor him. The first thing, they told him, go back to your dad and tell him you are sorry. Go back. He will not kill you. Just go back and tell all, all the All the while, he believed his father was his problem. He believed his father is a wicked person. When the pastor finished talking, he said he had to go to the father and told him, Father, I'm sorry. Do you know the shocking thing the father asked him, so what would you want to do now? He told the father, I want to go back to school. He said, however, this time, I don't want anything that brings me around UNN. I want a course I can study around UNEC. I, I want to be out of UNN generally because I just want to cut off for some people. He said that was how he destroyed his former line and everything. Read and did economics, entered to UNEC and started studying economics. And the next, this time around, he decided that every time they give him his result, that he would show a copy of his result to his father, to the pastor's wife. So he brought in accountability measures. I told you at Survivor, there's no accountability. He would the king of yourself. That's why if people, if people talk to you in a way you don't like, you just cut them off. He said, before you know it, the first result, first year result came out, he made 4.8. Somebody that didn't have a result. Second year, he made 4.8 like that. He became the president of his faculty, made 4.9, until he eventually graduated, made first class. 
He said, what happened? He said, at this other level, I have no accountability. At this time, I made up my mind. I must be accountable to somebody. I will give you pastors after my heart who will feed you with knowledge. God doesn't just want you to come to church. He wants you to be pastored. Every time you see a pastor giving people instruction, it's so that they can do better. No pastor likes it when his members are at survivor. There are things the church can't do with people who are at survivor. Is somebody following what I'm saying? However, it is through training, through knowledge, shall the just be delivered into their inheritance. You enter the last level, which is global wealth and global relevance. At this level, what does it for you is that you must, be, you must have allegiance to a spirit. Write it down. You must have allegiance to a spirit. It's me that said it. You must have allegiance. If you're talking about global wealth and relevance, you must have allegiance to a spirit. At this level, wealth does not happen except a man is paying allegiance to a spirit. Are you with me right now? That's why people enter secret cult. That's why people join some cult. That's why some people enter into certain level of rituals. They are looking for global relevance and, and, uh, and global wealth. Yeah, but there was something I skipped intentionally. I didn't say it concerning this level. I, I, and I know I was going to say it when I come to this level. Because listen, at this level, this level of training and learning, if there is no spirit, you can lose everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I, listen, no matter what you got by training and everything, if there is no spiritual backup, you can lose everything. Say that I say it is. You can lose any, everything. I mean everything, such that nobody will ever believe there was a time you had money. Yeah. That's the thing. It happens to most players. You, you ask yourself, why are they begging? Have you not asked yourself, with all the money they made, you now hear they are looking for money to, train, to, to take them for hospital. They had an injury. They had training. They had money. But what they didn't do was to ask spiritual backup to it. And so, if there is no spiritual backup, there's no amount of money that can fly away. Don't you see it with actors and celebrities? Have you not asked yourself, this person, did he not make enough money that he shouldn't beg for any assistance? What happened? Let me tell you the truth. If you don't add spirit to money, no matter how big it is, you will lose it. Did you hear what I said? Look at your neighbor. Tell neighbor, if you don't add spirit to money. Come on, shake your neighbor. Tell neighbor, if you don't add spirit to money. Tell neighbor, no matter how much it is, you can lose it. Hear me. Listen, the things I teach you as a pastor, I'm, I'm, if you don't accept what I'm teaching, I like God and the way things work. It won't be long. You yourself will experience it for yourself and you will remember what I taught you. However, if you learn by what I'm teaching you, you will avoid that level of experience. There is no amount of riches here that you can lose if you don't add spirituality. And at this level of global relevance, at this level of global wealth, where you can afford anything, and where you can beat your chest and tell anybody you can't bring me down. You can't say it here. I'm telling you, some people, it was just one deal that took everything. One deal that looked like it was going to work. Are you with me, church? You see this level, the third level, which is the level of global relevance and wealth. Every, uh, and, uh, and wealth. Everything that happens there is spirituality. Look at Luke chapter number 4. Let me show you something. Luke chapter number 4. Jesus was being tempted by the devil. And the devil took him to a mountain in verse number 5. Look at this. Verse number 5. Can we read together one to go? And the devil what? Taking him up where? Into an high mountain what? Showed unto him what? All the what? Kingdoms of this world, what? Stop. Church, what did the devil show Jesus? All the kingdoms of this world in a moment. That's global wealth. Global relevance. He showed him in a moment. Look at this. Verse number six. And the devil said to him, what? All this authority, what will happen? I'll give you, and what? And their glory, for this has been what? Delivered to me, and I'll give it to what? Anybody I wish. Look at this. Verse number seven, read together. Therefore, what? If you worship me, what? This is the requirement for global wealth. Global relevance. This is the requirement. If you pay allegiance to a spirit, he gives it to you. 
If it is Satan, he gives it to you with two more sorrows. If it is God, he gives it to you with peace, prosperity, and heaven at last. Are you with me right now? But there's no, listen, when you say, hey, this person, does he do this? Dangote does not pay time. Dangote does not do church. Eh, 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 no, sir. Eh, eh. Let nobody deceive you. There is an aspect of spirituality to money relevance. I'm telling you. At this level, at this, you know somebody can come with a business deal, you, call it, you think it's a business deal, but the person wants to take all the money that you have. But at this level of spirituality, somebody is preparing for the same business and he's just speaking in tongues. All of a sudden, let me talk to my pastor about it. He finishes talking to the pastor. The pastor said, no, sir, don't go to sign that deal. Your whole money will be gone. And the people that plotted it, they did everything right and they know you will fall into it. But what saved you at that point? Spirituality. I speak in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to everybody under the sound of my voice. This morning, may God take you to that level of spirituality. Amen. Hear me. Before people wear suits, they've been naked somewhere. Did you hear what I said? There is no level of... That's why, listen. Everything, if you come into God, God is not talking about survival. God is not talking about rich. That's why I say we are born rich. We are here to help our world. God is talking about global relevance. We are the money can't stop. And what will stop the what will make the flow not stop is that spirituality. The Bible said there's a way that seemeth right to a man, right? What happened to it? The end is dead. But there's a way. If there's a way that seemeth right to a man, there's also a way that seemeth like it's not good. Yet the end is good. If a way seemeth right unto a man, but the end is dead, how will you know that this road is not right? It is spirituality. The Bible says you will hear a voice behind you telling you, this is the way walk in it. I prophesy in the name of Jesus, may you walk in global relevance. Amen. Acts chapter number 20, Acts 20 verse 32. Let me show you. Acts 20 verse 32. He said all this, I'll give it to you if you worship before me. He said, so now brethren, what happened to you? Read together, want to go? I commend you to God and what? I can hear, I commend you to God and what? To the word of his great what? Which is able to what? Build you up. What will he now give you? Inheritance. Among them that are sanctified. Look at what God gives inheritance. I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. Which is able to build you. And you know, the reason why he builds is because if he builds you, it will be difficult for you to lose it. And then when he builds, he gives you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare inheritance for you. Are you with me right now? So, everything that you see us practicing in church, everything that you see us practicing in spirituality, listen, everything you see us practicing in spirituality is so that there will be global relevance and so that you don't lose it. Believe me, I can tell you for myself. This is me. This is Pastor Casey talking to you. I have had experiences. No matter the amount of money I see in, in, in somebody, it doesn't make me respect the person. I want to find out what are you doing. If I find out around you there is no spirituality, there is, you are, there is no allegiance, you don't have a head, forget it. That money is gone. Satan knows this thing I'm telling you. I'm serious. If, you, if there's no spirituality, forget it. Why, how was David able to bring Goliath down? You know David had training. I, I failed to mention it to you when I was talking about training. If you look at Psalm 144, let me show you. From Psalm 144. You know, you learn that David brought Goliath down. And of course, every one of us know that why David became powerful was because he brought Goliath down, right? Yeah. So he was a fighter. Look at this. Can, 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 you, can you give it... To, uh, can you bring it to message translation? Message translation. Look at this. <laughs> A message translation. Can I have it? Can we read together? I want to go. Yes. Blessed be God, my mountain. What? Who trains me? What? To fight fair and well. So David said, I have a training in fighting. Did you see it? So when David brought Goliath down, it was an oppression of both spirit and training. Did you get that? It was an oppression of both spirit and training. It was not just crude. 
That's why if you study First Samuel chapter number 22, the Bible said that vain men gathered around David and David became their captain. What, what was he their captain for? David started training them. And if you check, they later became the mighty men of David. So David took them from just being crude men. Look at it. He said, not only that, but all who were down on their luck came around losers, vagrants, and misfits of all sorts. David became what? Their leader. They were about what? David became their leader. So listen, no matter how misfit they were, because their leader was fit, he trained them the same way. Come on, somebody. Don't be afraid of making billionaires as friends. They will bring you up to their level. The only problem is that you just want to hang around the normal persons. More especially people that find your ego. And they took his ego, you don't have money. She can't deliver two days ago, and when it came with 20 million. David became their leader. What was he doing? He was training them. Now imagine, listen, you, you saw 400 there. I believe from what I know as a pastor, it wasn't all of them that made it finally. Some people would have left out of annoyance. Some persons that don't like training would have walked away. But these guys took with, stood with David and he trained them, and they eventually became big. Yeah? David said, he taught my hands to fight. So that thing you saw David de 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 demonstrate before uh, Goliath, there was already a training to it. However, you also know that it's much more than training. There was a God factor. Yeah. Who is this man that he would defy the armies of the living God? The guy understood spirituality. I prophesy in the name of Jesus, especially in 2024, in our year of something big, may you enter into a high level of spirituality. Shake your neighbor, turn about spirituality. Come on, shake your neighbor, turn about spirituality. Yeah. Somebody was telling me a story. Of one man that uh, one guy that normally accompanied one then one big senior president then I heard if the guy is following the senior president you would think he's an ordinary guy you don't know he's a native doctor he still wears suits moves like every other person but he can walk in here and tell senior president don't enter and he won't enter I heard one time there was a, a bus that was lost at the airport they were looking for the bus you know, a, a, a big friend to the senior president then lost the boss. So the senior president landed, and the guy also landed. He landed with the guy. And this, his big friend landed, and they were looking for a box. And that boss was in a private jet they came back with. And they were looking for it. They didn't see it. They, they came to this senior president and was complaining, what kind of thing is this? We're looking for a bag. The senior president just called the guy. That was how they knew that he was not an ordinary person. He just called the guy. He said, they are, they are looking for their bag. Can you help them find it? The guy asked them about the bag. They told me, he said, no problem, I'll, I'll, I'll do something. The guy started walking around the airport. Somebody would have still seen him and think he's a, a normal DSS guy, ADC. The guy walked around the airport, walked around the airport, stood, in front, stood at the back of one particular car and told them to open the boot. The bag is there. They opened it and saw the bag. And now marker. <laughs> if, 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 <laughs> if you like, if you like, Think that money is just smart ideas. Acquire to aspire and play acquire to play. Yeah. If, if you see acquire fail and aspire running, you <laughs> after aspire to acquire and to aspire and to perspire. <clears throat> Look for spiritual backup. Is somebody following what I'm saying? There are things that aspire, don't see you. Acquire. Ah. Is somebody following what I'm saying? Yeah. It's spirituality. It's spirituality. You just finished speaking in tongues. You were supposed to sign it. You say, come tomorrow. You are supposed to. You came to where you would have signed it. You say, can you give me two more days? And they don't know. They are, they are wondering, what did they hear? Somehow, pastor calls. Or somehow there's an intuition. Don't sign it. Until later, you now find out what would have happened if you had signed that. Spirituality. Shake your neighbor, tell about spirituality. Come on, look at your neighbor, tell about there's a stay your neighbor, there's a spirituality around this. Let me tell you why the church is being fought. Let me tell you the reason why people are not comfortable with some pastors. 
Let me tell you the reason why people are not comfortable. Satan wants his people in charge. The only reason an unbeliever and an occultic man will plan something against you and it will not work is because you are in positive spirituality. I'm serious. When you hear Titan, please don't see Titan as your contribution to church. I've told you before, God is too big to sponsor his church. You can't contribute. Everything you are giving to God is part of your spirituality route. That's why in the court where they are, there are things they ask them to do. If they ask them for their mother, they will bring it. If they ask them for their children, they will bring it. God is not asking you for anything there. God is asking you for obedience. Job 36 verse 11, look at this. He said, if, look at this. Give me Job 36. Look at this. Come on, shake your neighbor. Turn about spirituality. Look at your neighbor. Turn about spirituality. Tell them about there's a spirituality around it. Look at, look at this. Can we read it together? One to go. If they obey what? And serve what will happen? A good what? Please give it to me in, in, uh, in King James, please. Let's read together. One to go. If they obey and what? What will happen? They shall spend their days what? And what happened? Listen. He didn't say they will have prosperity. You did not notice it. He said they will spend their years in prosperity. It won't finish. It won't. Why did he say they will spend their days in prosperity? No matter the money you acquired in training, a spiritual man can knock you off. That's why you as a Christian need to be spiritual. That's why we don't only pray in English, we speak in tongues. There's a point of spirit that requires you speak a confusing language. Is somebody following what I'm saying? If they obey and serve him, why, what did he say obey? You, can you talk about obey if there are no instructions? You can't talk about spirituality without instructions. Did you not see? We read it on Wednesday. They went to expand where they were living. They went to expand it. They went to the man of God and said, where we are is too small. We need to expand it. The man of God said, go ahead. You can go ahead and expand. Why they were going, one of them said, sir, can you go with us? Prophet, go with us. We don't want to go alone. Somebody would have asked, so what do you think on some pastor and building? And the Bible said, when they got there, why they were there, the ass head fell inside water. They turned to the man of God. They said, sir, our ass head has entered into water. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, there are some buildings, that was how it ended. The next thing is how to bring the ass. Meanwhile, it was borrowed. There are some buildings. My question, who manipulated the ass head to fall inside water? That's spirituality. So I'm not even asking who manipulated it. I'm asking who can bring it out. You see why I'm not so conscious of who is after your life? I'm conscious of your level of obedience. Because if you know that this person is after your life, and that person can rise that you don't know. So, anybody that is rising, what is important is that you have some level of spirituality. The man of God said, where, have, where did the asset for? They told him. He went and brought dry stick and said, put it there. They put it there. The asset came. This thing, he brought it out and gave it to them and said, continue your building. That's all day, she. Oh, she can hear, she can for my side. I prophesy over your life. I talk over higher. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare your prosperity will never end. If you are more spiritual, you would have said a better amen. amen. Do you know that amen is a spiritual language? It's a spiritual language. It's a spiritual language. The, the problem is that you think we are, we are playing church. There's a level of spirituality to this thing. When I told CJ he was going to travel to Canada, I put it on camera. I said, put it there on camera. And they denied him three times. He didn't get it. Do you know what they were saying in his family? That there are strong men that say this type of thing won't happen. The wife once mentioned it to me. I said, I know strong men. But I know what strong men cannot stop. He's a man of instruction. All of the time. I'll tell CJ, I said, do this, do this, do that. Every time I'm in Abuja, he's there. Every time I'm in, I do this, do this. The last time I was in Abuja, he was telling me, he said, somebody even told me, uh, Shepa, you say your pastor said this, 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 what happened? He said the person was laughing at him. I said, tell the person to still be there when it happens. And then I told him, I said, listen, no matter what is happening, what, what is important is that you are doing what you are supposed to do. 
and he was just there. Then the wife was telling me, he said, I've never seen CJ this excited. What happened? This was happening sometime in December. I said I had a talk with him, and I told him some things around spirituality. Fast forward down to January. The same application he was making. All the while he was making the application, he had five million in the account, and they will reject it because there's no enough fund. This time around, he put the five million naira. It was not there. What was in the account was 500 naira. And the visa came out. As our last Sunday, he's already in Canada. He has greeted me from Canada. Yeah. Hear me and hear me very well. I don't doubt that there are strong men in his family. But there's also a strong pastor here. Stronger than those strong men. I, uh, uh, I don't speak in tongues for nothing. Last Sunday, I practically lost my, my voice. A, a night when I was praying for first fruit, a night before the, I found, like, I, I, I have not preached and lost my voice, but I was praying and I lost my voice. Why? Spirituality. Spirituality. Did you not see Gehazi coming to tell the man of God, where are you coming from? Gehazi said, I, I was praying at the back, backyard. El, 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 Elisha looked at him and said, if I slap you, you, who is praying? He said, my spirit went with you. I saw when that man came down and gave you something. You thought you collected money. You collected leprosy. That's a spiritual man. Why did Elisha reject it? Why did he not take it? How come what Elisha rejected, Gehazi collected? May God give you insight as to offers to reject. I prayed a very powerful prayer. Some people did not notice. Let me prophesy again in case you did not hear. Let God give you insight into offers to reject. Yeah. Why did Elisha say no, take it? Gehazi said, ah, how can man of God be rejecting this? He rushed and took it. And you saw what happened to him. Another person saw the thing. There is, a, there is, there is. Imagine people who were celebrating Gehazi as the next prophet to be. And he stopped along the road because he had skills. He had no spirituality. If they obey and serve. So in spirituality, there are instructions. If you are not an, a person of obedience, you're not a spiritual person. I've told you before, spirituality is not to wear long, it's not wearing long tie. You know, some people, when you ask them who is a spiritual man, they tell you the man that his tie is long like this, we're touching here. Then his trousers will go up. He'll carry everything up. You greet him, how are you? He bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Father! <laughs> do all of that thing. And they tell you do this. And you forget. I'm telling you. One of my daughters had serious issue yesterday. Yesterday morning I woke up. I had some prayers. And God gave me instructions. And uh, she was telling me. Uh, she was telling me. How tense the matter. And that thing was supposed to be decided that yesterday. I called her that very early in the morning. I gave her instruction, told her what to do, write the name of the constituency. And that was it. In the night, she chatted me up and was sharing what happened. So she asked me, she said, Pastor, please, can you tell me the meaning of that instruction? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. Ah, I prophesy over your life. By spirituality, you are rising. I know why some people are not getting to where they should be. Before some things happened, go and find out there was an instruction. Yeah. If you hear this person, this, that, uh, crash, this one, all, all of those things, go and check. That person, maybe there was a spiritual man that said do this and he did not. I'm telling you. You see that thing that is your tight? No matter how big it is, pay it. You see that thing that you look, that look no matter how big it is, just do what God asks you to do. If the Lord tells you fast, no matter how hungry you are fast, there's a level of spirituality that is involved, more especially in wealth that lasts. How much is money that lasts? Spirituality. How much is global money? Spirituality. Is somebody following what I'm saying? Spirituality. Spirituality. Yeah. Did you not notice that when Kano and Kono culture was playing and all of those, many of them had more relevance. Okocha was the one sponsoring the Mbaka's songs and different Mbaka's this thing. Go and, go, and, go and verify. Go and verify. That was why they were relevant on that this thing. Omokachi was the one that made his first money, went and bought private jets. One injury he was off. But this one is playing with Mbaka. 
Do you know the spiritual significance that you are playing with him? I'm not one to buy it. Come on. Buy or nothing will buy you. <laughs> yeah. Khan Wanko was busy with his heart foundation. Spirituality. 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 When you are growing in wealth, think spirituality. I'm telling you. There are people that don't like you, but it doesn't matter. What matters is what you are doing. Is somebody following what I'm saying? The same way you're right now, there are people that hate you. It doesn't matter. What matters is, are you willing and obedient? If you are willing and obedient, the Bible said, if you obey and serve him, the Bible said, you will spend your years in prosperity and your days in pleasure. Who is ready for that? I prophesy over your life in the name of Jesus. Prosperity all the way for you. Please play that video. I wanted to show you something. I showed them in first service. A video of something that happened recently in World, uh, World Economic Forum. This thing was the one that happened where you can see. Please take off this light. I know many of you would have seen this video. It's tre it trended. Yeah. L look at this video. Now, that's the one that happened where everybody could see. Everybody. And then so. <laughs> Na, no Camarro, a Nuri, no Camai, no Kawaka, na, a Nuri, no, you, what is she speaking? Now I want to know the funk and push in us of our king. She know what kicked on it, time shall I get on it, time a kick it on it. I want my one, why, why shall I? Okay. 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 Uh huh. Okay. 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 She people are not doing anything. Look at your neighbor. <laughs> Tell your neighbor everybody is doing something. See. Now, this is what the economic forum. If this one is captured on camera, what of behind the scene? Atoma, Atoma, that's their own tongues. And after that, pew, 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 our own is. In the name of, I receive it. And somebody will tell you, you are in church shouting, I receive it, I receive it. Go, don't go and hustle. The person knows that if you go to hustle without I receive it, he will scatter everything you have hustled. Yeah. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah. See, and see, it wasn't even a, 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 a woman. It's a woman, Atoma, 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 with first class and PhD. Oh. With all the billions in there. Who? You see it? And then you come to church. Shake your neighbor, tell about spirituality. Look at your neighbor, tell about spirituality. These are things people do. And they come out, they say, nobody can do me anything. Before you saw uh, Jephthah in the battlefield, did you know what has happened? He has said, the first thing that will come out of my house, I will sacrifice him to the Lord. So people will be seeing Jephthah and be saying, ah, ah. They don't know that there's a vow somewhere. Something is speaking on the altar. Is somebody following what I'm saying? There's an aspect of wealth that has something to do with spirituality. I prophesy over your life in 2024 and beyond. May you grow in spirituality. Come on, touch yourself. Say, I'm walking in obedience. Yeah. So that's what happens to us. We don't only pray, we speak in tongues. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, we speak in tongues. Tell your neighbor, unapologetically. Shake your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, we speak in tongues. Tell your neighbor unapologetically. Shake your neighbor. Tell your neighbor we we'll speak in tongues unapologetically. Yeah. See it. So when you hear people make some statements, oh, this, this one is not going to church. That one is not going to church. No, sir, you don't know where they are going. You that is coming to church, don't be religious about it. Be doing it as a man that is doing something. When it's time for you to pray and you're speaking in tongues, he's doing it as a spiritual man. I told you at times, when you wake up in the night, just, just do some, do like a spiritual, Kada, the lion is up. Up! If you like, you can even tie a rapper. 
to get the devil more scared. Somebody walks in your room and think you belong somewhere. You belong to Jesus, sir. Is somebody for Yeah, you can even have some tie to it. Tie a white wrap around. Ah, 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 ah. And they don't. Ah! Your enemies get scared. Is somebody for what I'm saying? They plan. I mean, their plan is that ah, he must travel. He must pass through damage. We will kill him there. They are now calling to say, Alpha. We, we, are, we have been waiting for you. They don't know a God plan to travel. And all of a sudden, he walked into the car. God said, go and rest. Yes, sir. He went to rest. And people, they have been waiting to hear when the, when the breaking news will come. That he, he crashed. And they are waiting and waiting. They will wait. Say yeah. they lose weight. I prophesy over your life. Nothing will stop your greatness. Come on, look at your neighbor. Tell your I am spiritual. Tell your neighbor, I am spiritual. When you're paying your tithe, don't do it as what you're doing to contribute to church. Do it as something you're doing for the security of your money. Yeah. Yeah. Do it as what you're doing as security of your money. I've shared this news with you before. The person that happened to has been in this church before. Me and him were, were at the airport. And then when we got to the airport, uh... We were supposed to go pick somebody that day. On getting to the airport in Abuja, uh, this lady came having her child with her. And the lady was begging for money, was asking us to give money. And then my friend brought money and gave the lady. And this woman zoomed off and never said thank you. And started going. I told her, come back. My friend said, Pastor, leave her. Forget of these people. They are not grateful. My friend thought I was asking the lady to come back because he didn't say thank you. I said, come back. The lady came back. I told her, I said, you did not greet. Ah, she said, I'm sorry. She said, thank you. And she zoomed off. I said, that's not what I'm talking about. I said, come back. She came back. I said, give me the child you're carrying. You said the child is not feeling fine. She said, yes. I said, give me the child. She said, ah, ah, ah. I said, give me the child. My friend was looking at me. And this guy, I'm telling you, a billionaire. He was looking at me. Immediately, I grabbed the child. I opened the clothes of the child and I saw charms. Tied around the waist of the child. I told the woman, what is this? She told me, I'm sorry. I said, what are you doing here? That was how she told us that some people paid her to be out there begging for money at the airport. So their work is to collect money from people that have great stars. He said, he said you can bring 1,000 for the man and he'll pay you 10,000. Just target people that have great stars. And that was